So all these different training tools that we use, they're a tool to help us build the dog. You know, it's not a frustration device where you take things out on a dog. It's about learning that relationship with the dog. Um, every dog is different with their personality. Bring that out to your clients and to people at, at hunt tests or guiding and bring out your passion in it. You start to get a little bit more respect. And having a training style, um, you really have to be able to, being a trainer is really about being able to read a dog. It's, it's not about reading a book um, or watching a video. Those are, those are great ways to, to help you and give you some knowledge in the, in the field, but you're not gonna train the same, any dog the same way. You're not gonna go through that process the same way with any dog. There's always gonna be a difference there. There's gonna be a spot where that dog hits a wall and just doesn't wanna do it anymore maybe. Um, in, a, in a force fetching situation, or you know, maybe the dog doesn't like water in the beginning, but it's you got to work with them as a team. So, seeing that whole process come together at the end, and whether I'm guiding them in the field, um, South Dakota, or I get a picture from a client duck hunting, or pheasant hunting, or quail hunting, or something like that, uh, that's that's kind of the the trophy in this. That's why that's why we do it.